Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tango Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag, 9 januari 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. Our weekend shows are in English, but we start with some information about our data in Dutch. De uitzending is vandaag weer voorzien van data in Contestia. Aan het eind van de uitzending hebben we opnieuw een test met de pop-up. Die test duurt ruim een halve minuut en zit helemaal aan het eind van de uitzending. Als je de instelling van het ID-menu zo zet als op pnlete.nl staat, dan schakelt FL Digi automatisch tussen de modus en ook van frequentie. Net voor dit datagedeelte is er weer een cartoon over onze hobby in SSTV. Today we have the usual data during the bulletin in Contestia 125-8 at 3.55 Hz. In addition to that, in the last half minute of the bulletin, we have another cartoon in SSTV and we do a test with a pop-up and auto mode and frequency switching in FL Digi. To participate you will have to configure the Read Solomon ID screen as indicated on www.papaalpha0echotangoecho.nl. Today we start with the propagation bulletin of the RSGB. Hello, this is Mike Marsh, G1IAR, and welcome to the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS National News. And now the VHF and upwards propagation news. A winter 50 and 70 MHz sporadic E opening occurred for UK stations last Sunday, and there have been more QSOs spotted throughout the week. Keep a watch out for others this week as they're not uncommon around the new year. A large area of low pressure will move across the country and into Europe during this weekend, leaving us under a northerly weather pattern for much of the week. This is generally a less favourable pattern for tropospheric enhancements, but it could produce large and possibly wintry showers around our coasts, which might be a useful boost for gigahertz bands rain scatter propagation. Some weather models predict the arrival of a substantial high next weekend, but it may stay to the west of Ireland and maintain the cold northerly instead, so tropo is not guaranteed. If this potential high forms in cold, dry northerly air, with no obvious moisture layer near the surface, then there are only weak tropo prospects. Moon declination is at a minimum today, that's Sunday, so we have short moon windows increasing as the week goes on, with losses falling as it comes towards perigee, its closest point to Earth. And that's it from the propagation team for another week. The annual CW Ops Award is to recognise individuals, groups or organisations that have made the greatest contribution towards advancing the art or practice of radio communications by Morse code. It's presented at the Dayton Hamvention. For full details on the criteria and nomination process, go to cwops.org slash awards. Nominations should be emailed to awards at cwops.org with a copy to secretary at cwops.org and the deadline is the 15th of April. The RSGB Propagation Studies Committee has begun work on a new Web HF propagation prediction service. It'll feature both area coverage predictions as well as point-to-point on-demand predictions. Presently, only area coverage has been completed, and this can be seen at predtest.uk. That's P-R-E-D test.uk. This will soon be followed by the P2P predictions, and it's planned that following these trials, the RSGB website will also host the predictions. Comments and suggestions are invited by Gwyn Williams, that's Golf 4 Foxtrot Keeler Hotel, via email to g4hefkh at sky.com. The latest edition of the 5 MHz newsletter, which is a WRC15 special, is now available for free PDF download from tinyurl.com slash Oscar Whiskey Tango Tango Charlie 4 X-Ray or from the RSGB 5 MHz page. Ja, wij spreken ook een beetje Engels. Joe, have listened to the Daily Minutes. Yes, yes, and it was pleasant to do so.
In the beginning, there was silence. Then came ham radio. And there came the great exchange of ideas that led to many new inventions like the cell phone and communications that leads to lifelong friendships from down the street to around the world with millions of other amateur radio operators. And today's ham radio is the best source of backup communications during disasters or emergencies. Ham radio is alive and well. Find out more and get in on all the action. 